Alright, welcome to my laboratory. Does this guy look familiar to you? This is the old standard ColecoVision controller. Not a bad design, but not the best. Mainly being that it's very difficult to really move a guy around in Gateway to Afshe. So I'm going to try and get one of these guys on here. Even better, this plastic part on there, and then maybe the rubber boot. Well, let's see, uh, let's see what we can do here today. take this guy apart. This is an old broken joystick. I'm sure if you're an Atari collector you have several broken joysticks laying around. I believe this one as labeled does not go left. Always fun. You ever try playing adventure when you can't move left? Yeah, it's a real hoot. Real hoot when you got Yorgle or Grendel or Rendel bearing down on you and the bat steals uh Steals the sword and leaves you with a magnet, because that's really helpful. Anywho, uh, let's just get this bad boy apart. I know you can have rebuild kits for the 2600 controllers, but you know what? What the hell's the point? Uh, and actually, they came out with the system, the Flashback 2, not too long ago. The system itself had like 40 built in games, which were mostly, yeah, it wasn't bad, but the joysticks that came with it were phenomenal. Unbelievable. Look at this. This is looking good. This is looking good. Ever seen the inside of a whoa? Inside of an Atari joystick, that's all you got. Not much to it. These are just uh, control which way to go. Basically, these get mashed down. That's why it won't go left. I can already feel this one not working. Anyways, goal is to get this onto here. There's this conical thing here. I'm going to cut out because that's. That's really, uh, really bothersome. I'm going to get a pair of snippers or cutters or something and get that out of there. And then I'm going to attempt to glue it on there using the one and only Liquid Nails LN203 Metal Projects. Not necessarily, we're not doing metal here, but this stuff is a two-part epoxy and dries about as hard as steel. And when you're jamming on a joystick, you do not want it to come apart. This is what I'm going to put on there. Let's see what we can do about this, uh, this thing now. Alright, so I got a pair of wire clippers here that I use to cut my guitar strings when I restring my guitars, which is never nearly often enough. Let's see, let's snip this center thing out. In theory, hoping it will. This is kind of boring when I get it out. I'll turn the camera back on. Alright, we're back. Got most of that milled out. About five minutes later. It's probably a much easier way to do it than using these, but uh, you know, you make do with what you have. And this actually looks as though it will fit on there alright. Not the kind of best fit that I wanted. But, for experimental purpose and the fact that I got this Coleco controller at a garage sale for a dollar, I'm not super concerned about it. So, we're going to mix up some epoxy. I should be wearing gloves and all kinds of other crap, but oh well, huh? Yeah. Oh well. This is a two-part epoxy. You just squeeze out, squeeze out the two parts, and then mix them together, and then goop that shit on. Uh, what the hell am I gonna use? Probably get some toothpicks. And once you mix this stuff together, you got about three minutes, three to five minutes to use it. Otherwise, it hardens right up on you and it gets stuff dries like steel, to be honest with you. Kind of put a good, healthy dose on there. Because obviously, we don't want this going anywhere.
Whew, that stinks. And I'm gonna even load up the inside of this. How's that gonna hurt anything? Shoot out a little more. Mix it together. You also do this with your old television controllers because any of you classic gamers out there, I'm sure you know that the television controllers were absolute junk, even worse than this Coleco. But now we got that on there, we need to just line this up. Shit. on there and then we will let that dry and that should harden ridiculously hard and we'll come back to it in about 10 minutes to see what's up all right here we go I'm pretty psyched Check this thing out it's been about 15 minutes or so and this guy it's fully functional I think it's going to be great. The only thing I need to decide on now is if I want to, uh, do I want to glue this on there? Probably will. I don't know. I don't know. It seems kind of bulbous right around there. This, you can kind of control it. I'm kind of psyched to go ahead and use this on the uh, ColecoVision. Not the prettiest looking thing, but goddamn. It's going to get the job done. There you go. Well, gateway to Apshay here with my new sweet controller. All right, uh, we'll do Dungeon 23. Take a look at this, moving around. Let's get a shot controller. Look at that. That is fantastic. Pinpoint accuracy. How about a little search spell? Yeah. Let's get back on the screen there. Look at this. Great action on this controller. And there's, that's how you make an easy uh, ColecoVision conversion. No joke.